Corverse number 10. Congratulations, you're into double digits. That's fantastic. And we're into the Psalms. Psalm 2, verse 7. It is one of the singular, most important messianic prophecies in all of the Bible. And it's super simple. It won't take you very long to memorize it at all. So when you have shorter verses, might be a good time to go back and revisit some of the earlier verses, sharpen them up a little bit, it's not surprising, even after 21 days, if you need to like retool just a little bit, but it's fast, it's fast. So when you have smaller verses like this, revisit some of the older ones. So here it is. You are my son. You are my son. You are my son. Think Luke Skywalker. You are my son. Okay, maybe don't think that. You are my son. Today, I have begotten you. You are my son. Today, I have begotten you. So here is memory tip number six, especially when you have shorter verses. It might be good for you to do a little research on your own about a particular word or particular phrase. So since we have such a short memory verse, you are my son, today I've begotten you. You are my son, today I've begotten you. You are my son, today I've begotten you. Why don't you dip into a Bible dictionary or maybe look up the original uh, word uh, begotten. What does that mean? If you understand what the word means, you will memorize it more easily. So one more time, Psalm 2, verse 7. You are my son. Today, I have begotten you. Here's, a, here's another little memory tip. And sometimes you can emphasize each word along the way. And that allows you to memorize it easy. So, uh, you are my son. Today, I have begotten you. You are my son. Today, I have begotten you. You are my son. Today, I have begotten you. And just emphasizing different words in the sentence might help you memorize it a little more quickly. So, one more time. Psalm 2, verse 7. You are my son. Today, I have begotten you. Psalm 2, verse 7. Thank you.